So today I'm going to show you my drawings since my school has closed down. So I decided to start drawing some characters, but only the head and half of the body. So as you can see me here, so about this much. Um, I've had a lot of fun doing this and I have to give some of my credits to a teacher on Udemy. I'm not going to reveal who he is, but he's a really good guy and he helped me a lot with my drawings. So I must get into it. So the first drawing I did since school closed was this one. This is just a sketch of a girl. As you can see, I didn't do any coloring work. I just sketched out with pencil and then I highlighted with red pencil. So the focal point you when you draw is this like for me, the focal point, I wanted it to be the eyes. So you see, you can make them thicker, a bit darker, and it also matters in the point of view. But see, here, I made a mistake. I shaded, but if you accidentally make a mistake and you shade in places where you don't want to shade, you can actually shade in the background for that color because her neck is loose here and there's no hair. So it would look like a background. As you can see on all of my other drawings, there's a background. For example, this one, the girl with butterfly. The background is peach colored, and so is the background where we can see. Oh, and for the eyes, if you want them to be the focal point, make them bright in a different color. So green, yellow sort of goes with green, so I made her green eyeliner, and you have to put a glimpse, a white spot, if you can see, on her eyes. And you see she's looking up, and her eyebrows are a bit up, because you would see a butterfly like this, right? Also, you want to match her shirt too. I made it a v-neck unlike some of my other ones, like this one. This She does not have a v-neck. By the way, this is my favorite one. Um, she has a v-neck, and I thought gray is a dull color that would go with bright, lively colors and gives good contrast. Last comment. There is a hair band here. It sort of folds into the scalp, if you can see. And it gives a totally different color, but matches with something else, like the pink from this headband matches with the purple from the bottom. Okay, so we can look, take a look at the other one. This one, my instructor on Udemy guided me throughout. The headband for this one is what really inspired me to create the headband for this one. So for this one, at first he gave the basic outlining and he wanted to outline with red pencil again, but I paused him and said, is there any way I can add any bright, lively colors into this? He was pretty surprised, but as this is my first one with real color, this is the one after I did my first sketch. So this one, I added bright, lively colors after having rel relatively dark skin and relatively dark hair. And I wanted her and relatively dark lips. I really wanted her to have something that would pop. And so since this girl has a headband, I just imagined my head how beautiful a yellow headband would be. And so I did it. And the bright, lively colors are matching. We will move on to the second to last, which is this girl right here. As you can see, she has an ombre hair effect, and I blended that in pretty well. And the shirt background is supposed to be a smiley face, but the reason it's half hidden is because her hair is blocking it. So you want it as most realistic as possible. This part, it's a bit dark from here if you contrast this part to this part. So you really want to make the even blending, like here to here. But here, if you press too hard, no. You have to press exactly the way. And her eyes are in purple, her face is in purple, her blush is in purple, no. But it adds a good contrast as the red. Okay, last one is my favorite one. So this girl, she actually has sort of a dark halo around her. This is to emphasize that she is the main part. And also for this one, the focal point is also the eyes. As you can see, I drew a little nose. The nose is not very clear itself. Basically, 
parentheses, small parentheses, but a little shade in between. And for the lips, like me, I have a lot of trouble with the lips. So a trick I like to do is I just shade in the part where the lips should be, and then I add a small curved line on top and a really tiny dash on the bottom. That adds a good look to it. And as you see, the blush goes all over and freckles. I don't know why I like freckles. It just gives it a really nice pop. And you can see I used gold to give her a little ring necklace. It looks more like a choker. And I love how detailed I made the sweatshirt with the bright purple uh, purple polka dots that contrasts well with the the dull purple contrasts really well with the bright flame colors and as the back black background and I hope in another video I'll explain to you guys how I drew this and maybe film one of me drawing it but this video is dedicated to Alia my classmate and we have to stay home, and I love chatting with her on Gmail. It's most of my favorite things to do. Well, see you all. Let's all it. Goodbye, and everyone, goodbye. Thank you.